Well, pressure by Syracuse on the right side. Here comes the house for the Cuse. Willis looks to evade it, somehow escapes. Malik Willis is Houdini in a Liberty uniform. He's got a first down and more. Willis down near the 25-yard line. How did he escape that? And you see the pressure coming on the right side of the screen. Great step up in the pocket. Malik Willis even kept his eyes down. This time Schrader keeps it on the RPO, doesn't give it to Tucker. That's a good diversion, and Schrader's got a first down. It's back on the ball, ready to go again. Great job with the RPO by Schrader. He gives him that element that DeVito really does. Unlike the glory days of the Dino Babers offense, Orange is the new fast. Speaking of fast, Sean Tucker's a track star. Another first down for the Orange on the ground. There's some talk about getting him potentially in that illustrious number 44. If you were betting, it only took us seven and a half minutes to say it, but this time he's going absolutely nowhere. Walker on first down. Great play by the freshman Ahmad Walker, getting through the line of scrimmage, beating one of the guards. This is what we're starting to see now, Drew, a little change of pace by Syracuse, and this is what Dino Babers wanted to do this year. Schrader flushed, rolling to his left. He can run, as he showed us. Schrader near the first down marker. He's lit up. Like Garrett Schrader wasn't ready for the snap. All of a sudden, boom, here's the ball. What am I supposed to do? Take off. Use that athleticism. Get to the sideline. Get down, sir. It's third down and two for SU. He's picked up one with his legs already. Again, trouble with the snap. And this time, Schrader blown up in the backfield. Ralphs Rusins. They cannot figure out this exchange in the shotgun. This time, Schrader's got it. Looks to throw. Left sideline. Damian Alford makes the catch. And he's got lots of more yards. Alfred, the freshman out of Montreal, Quebec, moves the sticks again for Syracuse. And he's the one that had the 73-yarder last week. They took the shot against him early in the game. You have to respect the speed. He runs a little fade stop, turns around right there. Does a great job after the catch, picking up some nice yardage. Started getting down as they sneak Orange it in for a fast. touchdown. Garrett Schrader uses that 6-4 frame and leaps into the end zone for the first points tonight that you don't necessarily have with Tommy DeVito, the running, the size, the physicality, and the will to get into the end. It's like a little yo-yo back and forth. Look at all the movement from the SU defense they bring for. Willis on third down has to escape, and he's tackled at the legs by Mikel Jones. Off the field, but when he's on there, he's a madman. He's spying, you can see him creeping up there, find the open space, take it away. Great job, because I'll tell you. Tucker behind Schrader, he gets the call. Tucker is dangerous. There he goes. Sean Tucker to the crib. House call for the Cuse. Untouched. 27 yards. Sean Tucker behind the big left side of that offensive line. Clearing the way. Behind center. One cut. Foot in the ground. Gets vertical. And there's not a soul in sight. Using that speed. The 60 meter indoor champ. That was Jason Simmons, 14, who couldn't bring him down. Fresh set for Liberty. Willis airs it out, and he's got his man. Catch made by C.J. Daniels, who had a couple touchdowns last week against Old Dominion. Legs the play before, now hitting the money shot right there in the window. Looks like it's a cover two defense, a corner trailing. Pressure showing. Willis to throw. Here comes the heat, and down goes Willis. Getting pressure up the middle, flushing him, and you almost have to have two free rushers. As you can see, he's got a powerful stiff arm. He can get away. After the third down conversion, he looks to throw. Fires a bullet down the sideline, and he's got his man. That's the window shot into cover two. To his left side, throws a rocket right there in between the corner and the safety to Sibley. Nice ball. Willis wants to exploit it. Quick release down the sideline. That pass is caught. Noah Frith inside the 10 yard line. By Noah Frith, a great ball by Malik Willis. And Drew, Noah Frith, he's got a split on his hand. It's a 25 yard pass to Frith that sets Liberty up with first down and goal. Willis on the eighth play of the drive, swings it out to Lewis. Shedro Lewis is in. Touchdown, Flames. Wrapped off by this seven yard touchdown pass from number seven to Shedra Lewis. Flips it out there to Shedra Lewis. Great blocking on the perimeter. 81, Noah Frith, who gets him down there, does a great for a nice drive starter, an eight yard game. Third catch of the night for Douglas, second down and short. Willis under fire, and Willis brought down again. Shot play call, run play action. He's looking down the field. At that point, no one's open. Throw it away, Malik. Don't try to make something. So they're behind the sticks now. 
Good solution. Hand it to 34. And Tucker breaks a tackle. Tucker has first down yardage on second down and 17. They're one for two inside the 20 tonight. Schrader fakes the give and the pitch. Breaks a tackle. Schrader to the house. What a job by Gary Schrader. What a play call, but you see the fake pitch. It just freezes Rashad Hardy. He puts his foot in the ground, breaks a tackle. Malik Willis is the number three quarterback on Todd McShay and Mel Kuyper's big boards. Syracuse has, for the most part, stymied him tonight. On the first play of the drive, Willis flushed from the pocket, makes a couple of men miss, but can't get out of the reach of Marlowe Wax, the linebacker, who brings him down right at the line of scrimmage. Seen as you watch him drop back, look down the field, guys are getting beat, stunts going on up front, breaks one tackle, breaks two. We can get to that another day. These are classic, they're iconic. Not the time, Bobby. Third down and 10 for Malik Willis. Has to leave the pocket. Willis spins. Here comes Jones. Here comes more pressure. And Willis is down again. Offense, when we come back. to get Malik Willis and company back out on the field. James Willis, the punter for Syracuse, kicks it away to Douglas, and Douglas has some room, and he is dangerous. Demario Douglas plants his foot. Douglas knifing past midfield as two flags fly, and he's finally brought down out of bounds after traversing the length of the field. They've been doing such a good job to start drives. They've been getting a lot of three and outs. Now a little fatigue might be setting in. Free play. Flag flies, Willis goes deep, end zone, touchdown Flames! C.J. Daniels had two scores last week, he's got one tonight at the Dome. Flames right back in it. Shedro Lewis is the running back to Willis's right hip. Delayed handoff to Lewis, caught a hand to the face mask, doesn't deter him, there goes Lewis past midfield. That could have been dangerous for Syracuse, still it's a 31-yard gain. They pull the tackle, they pull the tight end, and they get Shedro Lewis. Willis, he hasn't popped the big one on the ground yet, but he's got nine carries for 36 yards, and they've been effective picking up first downs. Move, Here got he's it. got a man wide open, touchdown Liberty. Demario Douglas toasts the Syracuse defense, and the Flames can tie it up. You see... Willis, double move, pump, gets him on the out and up, plenty of space, does a good job getting vertical, staying in bounds. Why don't you run an RPO, get Schrader's legs involved, maybe run a screen right here. Tucker is an absolute bell cow in every sense of the word on second down and seven. It's back-to-back -back carries for him. He steps over a defender like he's Allen Iverson against Teron Liu and picks up a first down. He would go straight from football practice to track practice, so this guy does not get tired very easily. Schrader keeps it this time, though, and three flames converge to bring him down hard. Terrell Johnson was there as well. Story Jackson came in. Give them a time to recover and rest for this next drive should you not pick it up. Third down and ten for the Cuse. Schrader has thrown three straight incompletions. This time he can't even get it away. Another Liberty sack is there as well. And Syracuse has nothing going offensively that time. But the leap by Story Jackson over the cut block by the running. It's been loud all night on a Friday night in a newly renovated Carrier Dome. Willis to throw. It's a missile and it's caught. First down and more for Liberty. C.J. Daniels all the way inside the 20. It is lit tonight. Willis, speed option toward the goal line. Trying to spin, going nowhere. Stephon Thompson's there first. And they stop the Flames. Kingsley Jonathan on a knee who's missed some time with injury this year but you're right Bobby this Syracuse defense looks tired against Willis who looks to throw now on play action now evading the rush no he's not ball comes loose recovered by the orange Mikel Jones falls on it and it's Syracuse ball Tucker alongside Schrader again Tucker gets the call and Tucker is stacked up way behind the line Kendi Charles the first man there Schrader is 6 for 15 for 77 yards through the air. The Qs have run now 50 times. Tucker again in the middle of the hash marks. Story Jackson is there. We've said his name double-digit times on the tackles. Bingo! Andre Schmidt has ice in his veins on a Friday night in Syracuse. And the Orange get revenge against the Flames from Liberty. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.